I'm showing you an interesting table about Torah course, proving that Torah was a blueprint of creating, creation and therefore courts are only in the Torah. So let us see what the Kabbalah, the Zohar says in the Medrash says, and this is the following words of this Zohar and the Medrash. When God created the world, he looked into the Torah and created the world. Then the Zohar said, with the Torah, he created the world. So these are the words of the Zohar, one can see it. It is in the Zohar Truma 161a, in the Exodus portion Truma, and also the Rashid Rabba, right in the beginning of the Medrash AA. Now these are the Hebrew, so clearly telling us that the Torah was a blueprint of creation, and he looks at it and created the world. It means the Torah was a computer program of the creation in for 6,000 years, and therefore what we see in the course is the stories or the happenings which came out in this Torah. So therefore only in the Torah one can find it. Another thing is in the Torah you have 300,000 letters about, while in the Bible you have millions. So definitely in the Bible you can find many, many codes far away from being significant. Only in the Torah we have good meetings, we have minimals, we have exactly the right location in the Torah, something which is not part of all of those codes in the Bible. So, showing you first the table, which we did with Professor Haralik, and this one can see in our book, which is Torah code, A Glimpse into the Infinite, done with Professor Robert Haralik, and Mayor Alec, Professor Elia Ripson, myself, and this is. And one can get it, glazesonbooks.com, glazesonbooks.com, on Amazon.com, or Kindle's Amazon. The book, a lot of scientific proofs of the course, and you can get it, one can get it definitely in Amazon.com, but very, very important book. And in this book we have a table. This is a table which I want to show you first, done by Professor Harlick and myself. And this is a table, as we see just now, which clearly shows this idea, which is that the Torah was created, the world was created with the Torah together. Now, this is what we have here, this is one table, and what we see here, in the center of the word, Kod Torah, Torah Kod, Shem Yudke, the name of God, as we know the old Torah, the name of God, therefore we have it. Then we have also the name of the man who found it. You can see all the details there, but the most interesting is Kod Torah, name of God, and what you have here is the statistics, quite high statistic, which is zero, this point zero, 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 one, two, five. So definitely a very significant table. And then what we have here again, you can see the same table, which is a more interesting thing, and this one which we are, we are going to see just now, which you have here, Yachol Kod Torah, the beginning of the Torah code, which was really the time it came to the world, was 8 of Shilavitvah, 5,736, which is the year. 1976. So, these are what we found there. When we'll begin Torah code, and we'll spread out, and it will begin the year 5,736, which is 1976 when Professor Rips and Don Wilson heard about it for Yanni. So, interesting table, well, highly signed, statistical. Now let us see it with more additional words that I found, and definitely as much more important messages about the Torah course, which is really a glimpse into the infinite. So what we see 
in the code, which is basically the same which we done with Professor Harley. And what you see here is the following. So here you find what we saw before we really had the statistics. Yachel Kod Torah, Yachel Kod Torah, Kod Torah, which is Shem Yud K, the name of God, is the old Torah, is the names of God. And this is parallel, eight of Shinam Edvar, 5,736. Parallel is very, very significant in tables. Then, what we see here, very, very interesting, is additional thing which I found. Also parallel, your what? will be verified. And even the year, from where? From the year, meet Tashin So, this year, very likely, will bring more and more proof, will show more to the world about the validity of the Torah code, which really comes here. Your mat will be validated, will be verified by who? So we have a very interesting parallel, Eliyahu, which is the name of Rips. Rips, and then also another name coming here also, which is Matityahu, comes here also, on the same with Professor Rips. Now, the most interesting that we have here, very small, Ski of Mashiach, the Messiah, will bring us Masos, which is joy. Interesting, also the idea of Shameach, which is the root of the happiness. And amazingly, this is what will be. When Messiah will come, we'll have a lot of joy and happiness. Now, more things into this table we have here the word you can't will be recognized. It will take time, but now Professor Rips and Donald Bistam. But very hard to bring more and more proof about the truth of the cause. So very, very interesting table. And as we say, a lot of it one can find is a very highly scientific work of Torah codes, a glimpse into the infinite, which is really a book which shows you scientifically what are codes. They are not, you cannot put names and so on, like people try to put Moby Dick, not significant at all, no meaningful, but people who don't know what our course definitely have the impression something we are. And definitely all this have to do with this real course, which don't have any meaning, not in the Torah, but in the Bible, and have many, many letters, so one can find anything you put his name, and Mashiach will come there also. You can get it Amazon and Kindle.